Yeah, how you doing? Have you done something fun yet? Oh, let's do something fun together. <laughs> like, have a go at some winter decorations, let's say. Um, could be Christmassy, could be Yuli, could be just about anything. Okay. Here we go. We've got some pretty ones like this. I've already um, done this intro and I started doing some some pretty ones. These are all done. I thought we'd do the demolding together. But I was looking at the playback and thought, oh my goodness, even with background music, that is just going to be so boring. Because I was going to do it quiet and do just let you relax and watch me do these. But no, it's just too boring. So... I've got a getting to know you quiz up and I thought I'd give that a go. So while I do things, I'm going to be answering some questions. Not all of them, because some of them are quite personal and I, you know, I don't get into personal stuff. Too. So yeah, not all of them, but I'll, you know, answer some of them. Okay, let's demold these first see how pretty they are oh yeah they're pretty I like those a little bit of cleanup but other than that yeah I'll do for my tree I'll be able to dangle those off I don't have a traditional Christmas tree, I have more of a wintry tree. So, yeah, these will be quite pretty for it. I think some of these moulds actually come with like a hole to, to um, put them on, but this one doesn't. Oh, I like that, that's really pretty. Um, I'll remake some of these and show you how I do them, but. Yeah, it's quite boring because you have to go quite slow. You can't just pour into these things because otherwise it goes everywhere. So you have to go really slowly and kind of just do a little drip at a time. So I'll show you how I do it. Because as you know, I don't always do it the same way everyone else does. <laughs> Let's have a go with this one. I wasn't sure how this one would come out because I just poured a great big blob in the middle and then let it spread out and then just sort of chucked it into the leaves. So, yeah. There we go. Right, that's those done. So, I'm going to pick a mould. And then I'm going to answer some questions. Oh, this one is stunning. I love this mould. I think I'm going to do this one in gold. Oh, do I do that one or that one? I'm just going to do that one because it's going to be a little bit easier while I have a go at answering these questions. Okay. Okay. Found my tool. Here we go. So, first question asks. Tell us where you were born, when you were born, sorry. Well, the closest I'm going to tell you is I was born in the 1970s. Okay, next question. What's your full name and are you proud of it? I'm not going to give you my full name. My name is Marie. And yes, I'm proud of it. My parents chose it. It's a lovely name. And I've never wanted to change it. the next one where are you from and are you proud of it um i'm kind of from all over i was born in england i grew up in wales um yeah love you know love where i grew up love where i was born so what's not to love okay do you love playing any sports or just watching it Typical, my thing's turned off. 
Um, don't understand sports. I do like watching um, rugby, but that's because, you know, it's exciting and it's fun. But I don't get most sports, to be fair. I've never been athletic. Um, I enjoy gymnastics. <laughs> I used to do gymnastics as a child, so yeah, I enjoy gymnastics, but um, no, don't just don't get the fascination with most sports. Sorry, okay, which one is better, basketball or baseball? Um, I think basketball. Um, yeah, I prefer, if I, if I was going to watch either, it'd be basketball. It's just, I don't know, it's more exciting, I suppose. Magnus, enough! <laughs> I'm sure he thinks I'm going off my trolley talking to someone who isn't here. And he thinks I'm talking to some of my relatives and he normally comes and says hello. Okay, um, you know you're not allowed in, Baba. No, not while I'm doing this. Okay, what's next? Um, who's your favourite person in modern history? Oh, crikey. Who's my favourite person in modern history? Hmm. So many of my favourite personalities have turned out to be not very nice people. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a hard one. Um... Who's my favourite person? Oh, crikey, what's his name? He's passed away, bless him, but yeah, I loved him to pieces, a comedian. Um, done loads of films. Um, his name will come to me. <laughs> oh crikey he's um one of the favorite shows i, re I mean he's done loads of films and stand up and one of the favorite shows i remember him from though is Mork and mindy and we bought the foot for full box set of more comedy that we're going to be watching over the christmas period so yeah with some relatives and what have you um somebody will be shouting at the screen at me <laughs> it's all right i forget my own name some days so <laughs> no no shame on this person um Crikey! Right, okay. I'll come back to that. Um, right. <laughs> Who is your favourite writer in modern history? Okay. Terry Pratchett. Um, hopefully most of you have heard of him. He does... Um, fantasy fiction and he's just amazing he's passed away now as well but yeah i have all his books and i can read them and read them and read them not everyone's cup of tea but they're definitely mine okay what are we up to now um who is your favorite musician from the 20th century Oh, crikey. 
Who's my favourite musician? Hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know many musicians' names. I know who I like. I know different bands that I like. I mean, my top favourite is Iron Maiden. Um, mm, I have to come back to that one. Okay, my screen's just gone blank. Hang on a minute. There we go. Okay. Which one do you prefer? Daft Punk or Gorillaz? Gorillaz. Although I do like Daft Punk, but yeah, Gorillaz. Okay. Do you love animals? If yes, then which one do you love the most? Oh, well, I, yeah, I absolutely love animals. All animals, to be fair. Sometimes more than humans, but you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love dogs, love rabbits, love hamsters, love ferrets. Love sheep, lamb, cows, goats. <laughs> if I could, I'd have everything. I love reptiles. Yeah, love snakes. Learning to love spiders. I used to be terrified of them, but I've educated myself on them and realised how fragile they are, actually. And how amazing they are. So yeah, learning to love spiders. Um, I think I'm getting that all over the place. I can't see the looking. A little bit of glare from the light. There we go. I don't know if that's right or not, but there we go. Let's just put a bit more in there. There we go. Right. I think that one's finished. Let's do a bit of tidy up on it, but looking good, looking good. Put that one under the light. Okay. Let's have a look at another one. I think we'll do another similar one like that, and I'm going to do... Let's do it purple this time. Let's change colours. Okay, where was I? Um, okay, do you have children? Yes, I have one. Um, if you have children, what's their names? I'm not going to say because that's their private business. Um, how many children do you want to have? Oh, if I could, I'd have millions. Um, are you married, single, and why? Mm, choosing not to answer that one, just for personal reasons. If you're not married, when are you going to get married? Not going to answer that one. What is your favourite thing to drink? Oh, gin and tonic, if I could. Not too much medication to be able to drink, but yeah. Otherwise, fizzy water. <laughs> Okay, do you and your best friend have the same favourite TV show? What is it? Oh, crikey. Um, yeah, I guess we do. And at the moment we're re-watching Stargate from the beginning. <laughs> Absolutely love that show. But, um, yeah, I don't really watch much TV shows anymore. I watch a lot of YouTube. Um, 
so yeah watch a lot of youtube channels um okay what's your fondest childhood memory oh on the beach with a campfire cooking some beans watching the sun go down yeah yeah i have lots of memories like that but oh, i keep dribbling this on the side not seeing very well at the minute sorry yeah those are my childhood memories sitting on the beach with my family a little bit of a campfire watching the sun go down <laughs> yeah and we did that often oh i'm crying now <laughs> remembering that oh yeah but yeah that's some of my childhood memories and it wasn't about getting stuff or you know going amazing places it was just about spending time and my family spent a lot of time we used to do a lot of stuff together going for long walks and doing adventure trails in the woods and yeah just spending a lot of time together doing fun stuff not expensive stuff just fun stuff it's not as easy these days because even going to the woods blooming cost a park but you know and unless you're lucky enough to live by the coast and even then you generally got to pay for parking if you're not within walking distance but oh were the simpler days i <laughs> don't envy anybody with children these days i really don't but yeah i'm just just you know sitting at home doing some jigsaws and chatting and laughing and yeah that was that was my childhood and it was fun and i loved it we had some rough times as everyone does but in general i was really grateful for the time my parents spent with me and i love them both to pieces and my dad's passed away now but my mum's still with us and she's amazing just clean that up just a tad uh, I think it's gonna take most of the okay I'll leave it as it is right I don't know how well that's gonna do we'll see <laughs> it's gonna be pretty fragile I think right okay let's do the next one and go on to the next thing i tell you what let's do some presents here we go let's do some of these present molds these look wicked all right um let's pick a pick a question first um what is your favorite quarantine activity <laughs> what I'm doing now <laughs> oh crikey could you imagine asking that three or four years ago <laughs> and now it's like yeah what did you do in lockdown what did you do in quarantine <laughs> oh my goodness okay yeah doing this and reading so yeah let's do some different colors huh Yeah, 
and cuddle him with Magnus, of course. My support dog, bless him. He's amazing and I'm not listening to him and he's not happy. <laughs> but that's not... I can tell his different cries and that one isn't a... Um, he's not telling me off. He's just complaining. He just wants to be involved and he can't be. <laughs> Trust me, he'd be a lot more insistent than that if he was um, if if he was telling me off. Right, okay. Uh, what's the next question? Um, oh, I don't want that to be messy because otherwise it's a pain in the butt to clean afterwards. Much easier to get everything clean, clear and clean prior to setting it than it is afterwards to blow in sand and gloss and... Oh. Tip for this week clean it before you you set it don't overfill anything and do you clean it before you set it okay um what's your greatest achievement in high school uh finishing <laughs> i was really ill uh, had viral meningitis with a few other viral bugs and um, yeah getting through it <laughs> was my greatest achievement <laughs> are you proud of your points in high school nah I could have done better for sure but like I say was battle battling illness even back then um, I just put this under Okay. Um, which business would you want to have and why? Um, a charity, I think. Go seeps. Go seeps. Magnus, go seeps. Go seeps. I'll take a break and show you Magnus in a minute. I think maybe. I don't know. See how it goes. Magnus! Um, yeah, a charity. But I'd have... Um, I'd have a charity where... I'd have a shop, let's put it this way, and I'd call it something like people helping people. And I'm just going to um, give this a quick flash here. And um, I'd let people bring in anything that they didn't want or didn't use anymore. So that it wasn't going to waste. And then anybody in the community could come in and choose five items for free. So it's free to drop off stuff. And I just have a donation box for to help with running the shop and running the, you know, help towards paying the staff and things like that. And I do donation drives. But I think the price of second hand items in shops these days, in charity shops these days, is utterly ridiculous. It really is. It's so expensive. And I just think to myself, 
you know, yes, you've got to cover your prices. But there really is no need for those kind of prices. Seriously. You know, people go in second-hand shops because they can't afford standard prices so why are you charging standard prices in a second hand shop blimmin shop do you know what i mean makes absolutely no sense to me so yeah i'd have a second hand shop and each person could choose five items you know you can't just go in and raid the blimmin shop five items a day you can decide you can pick if you were desperate for more then you could just see management you know if you're moving into a new a new place because i'd take in furniture i'd take in anything anything to stop it going in the landfill i'd take in i'd clean anything up that needed cleaning up and i would just You know, one, stop things going in landfills. And two, providing a service to people who needed it. Because let's face it, things are getting more and more expensive right now. And people are getting more and more desperate. But if you've got somewhere where they can go, where they can know they can at least get the basics and not spend a fortune, you know, they could put in a fiver if they had it. Just as a, a goodwill gesture. And it would be the community helping the community because you never know when you're going to need it, basically. You know? So, yeah, that's what I would do. That's the business I would have. Sorry, went off on a bit of a tangent then, didn't I? <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, get off my soapbox. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Did go off a bit on one then. Right, here we go. Let's have a look at this tree. I look a bit of a sparkly one. Well, well, this is going to do because I've put way too much in there, but heidi heidi ho. Heidi heidi ho. Oh dear. Yeah. So, my screen's turned off again, so I will turn that back on. Put these into. Uh, set these, put these into set, and um, go. turn the screen on. There we go. Sorry. Oh, look what I've done! Dripped my handle of my torch into a blooming pot of resin. Oh, I'm so clever. Well done, Marie. Can you imagine me organising a shop? Yeah, no chance. <laughs> but if I could, and I had the money to, that's what I would do. I'd set up, set up a foundation and a charity shop that gave things away and didn't charge a blooming arm and a leg for things that they were given. Right, okay. <laughs> Next one, let's have a look. Let's do a little one. Let's do this one. Um, let's have a look. If you love snakes, which one is your favourite? Oh, yes, I love snakes. And my favourite is a garter snake. And I used to have a garter snake and it was called Fizzgig. And I loved him. Except I went away for a summer to do some work. Um, my dad was left in charge of it 
and he misunderstood me because I said he needed to be fed once a week with a few fishes put in a bowl because that's what he liked. He didn't like um, mises or anything. He liked fish. So that's what I asked my dad to do. A few fish live in a bowl and he'd fish them out as he wanted to once a week. Uh, my dad thought I meant once a, once a day. <laughs> he spent a fortune on fish, bless him. And he fed my poor snake once a day. The poor bugger flew in, shed out three times and died. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> my dad was mortified, bless him. Yeah, he was a gorgeous snake. I used to wear him like a belt. He was quite happy to snuggle up around my waist. And he'd, he'd come in, push his way through my belt loops. And I'd walk around with him as my belt. <laughs> Didn't train him to do that or anything. He just used to do that. I'd catch up with him. Only for sort of like 20 minutes because he needed the heat of his heat lights and what have you. But yeah, we'd sit and play for 20 minutes and he'd just automatically cut up into my belt loops. <laughs> and just decide that's where he was sitting. I'd stroke his head and everything and he enjoyed that, but... Mainly just like to sit there. He'd poke his head up now and again and have a look around. But yeah, it was gorgeous, calm snake. Loved him. But like I say, <laughs> my poor dad, bless him. Misheard me or misunderstood me. I fed him every day. <laughs> Yeah, you're not supposed to feed snakes every day. <laughs> most snakes, anyway. Some snakes you do. But most you don't. So, yeah, love snakes. Okay, next question. Um, uh, do you love music? Which genre is your favourite? I love most genres of music, but my favourite is heavy metal. Um, I love Iron Maiden. Probably be classed as old metal these days. But I do like some of the newer bands as well. Um, I'm trying to think of some names now. Oh, you know me and words and names. I'm absolutely hopeless. Um, okay, names. I don't know if I ever get the name of this band correct, but Five Finger Death Bunch, I quite like them. Um... And Sabaton, I love them. They are amazing. I've seen them live. Um, um, and I've been to quite a few um, festivals, and you know, metal festivals and things. And I love it. I love the crowd. I love the atmosphere. It's just really good. I really love it. And yes, there are some some metal fans that are a bit nuts. But there are of any Fleming band. Did you see Elvis's fans? They used to tear people apart. But there we go. <laughs> oh. You can get oddballs in every genre of music. Mm. 
but um metal uh they're nuts bless them but they're they're generally tame they generally like to shock more than they actually do horrible things <laughs> They like the thought of doing horrible things more than they actually do it. So don't be fooled <laughs> by all the blooming theatrics of it. Because that's what it is, it's theatrics. Okay, what is your most favourite scariest scene from a movie? Oh. Ooh. That's a tough one. I watch lots of scary films. Shouldn't, because it gets into my psyche, but I do. <laughs> um, favourite scariest film? Favourite part of the favourite scariest film? Um, favourite part of the favourite scariest film? Oh, crikey. I bet you know what? I have too many. To pick one. Right, let me narrow it down. Okay, which... What's the scariest film that you like? Um... I don't go in for these, like, saw films and what have you. That are just blood gore and blooming jump scenes you know where, that make you jump kind of thing i like interesting ones i like a lot of zombie movies and i like a lot of zombie um um series and things like that i, I watch a lot of them um Okay, favourite zombie movie. Let's go with that. Um, I'm crikey, there's so many. Okay. Favourite zombie movie. Um... Yeah, no, this is too difficult. I'm going to try another question. <laughs> but to answer it, I mainly like zombie movies. And um, yeah, I've watched a lot of them. <laughs> How's that? And that's everything. But before I go, the next time you decide you don't like the way someone looks... Just remember, when you take away all the squishy parts, we're all just skeletons, aren't we? Try being kind. The results might just surprise you. Thanks for watching.